it's technically my sixth day of harvest today. It rained Tuesday and Wednesday, and then again Wednesday night. And uh, so I worked for tractor on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then today. And at five o'clock I got off, and Chris had equipment ready to go, and they've got the auger set up on the corn bin over here at the Bryant farm. So we are trying the corn. He's doing one pass through to see if it's dry enough to go to the bin. And if it is, we'll just keep on running. Chris is in the combine cutting the first pass. And I've got the Magnum pulling the grain cart. Because if we do keep running, we'll have to empty it. It won't make a pass without being emptied. So we'll see if we make it or not. He put extra end rows on this year so that hopefully we can make it through without having to dump. But we'll probably dump on the go, uh, unload on the go, so that we can keep the combine moving as much as possible. It's day seven. Oh, gotta turn the throttle on. So last night we got started. We only did three rounds at the Bryant farm and the moisture was all over the board. 16 up to 19. Some of the yields were not great at all. Some of them were okay. Range from like 198 to 270. So 198 is way less than last year and the year before. And 270 is about on par. But uh, back again this morning, we, we ran all of that in the bin over here at Bryant Farm. And another thing we noticed last night is there would be just random ears of corn laying on the ground, like I, I did one pass and there were about four ears of corn just laying on the ground had fallen off the plant. So, you know, with the, some of it being not very dry and other, others of it being very dry, it's just, there's a lot of conditions in the field right now. So a lot of times you'll get in one type of corn and then it'll be the same condition or maybe two conditions throughout the field. There's a lot of conditions going on right now. Also, we had sections where there was little plants laid down and they're just falling over from the wind and things like that so kind of weird but uh, I flew my drone this morning I've got footage of that where the plants are laid over in different places um, but now I'm about to get back into the field and hopefully it's about nine o'clock now hopefully we'll be able to run all day on corn and finish this field Maybe even move to another. Place. Didn't quite get stopped in time, but this section, this whole section right here, was laid over like that. You can see it up there in front of the head too.
so it is now 538. Avery Jane has been in here with me for like four hours or something. And I've been driving for nine hours. And the corn bin at the Bryant Farm is full. Which means all this corn is going to have to go to the elevator, the grain elevator. Probably, uh, I think it's ten more rounds, so ten more times down and back across the field with the six-row combine, and this field will be done. Chris is calling the elevator right now to see if they're going to be open for us to take anything, because I don't know if you can see that corn blowing around out there, but it is windy, and it is probably going to rain. Pretty soon you can see rain on the window right there, maybe. So it's already sprinkling a little bit, and this is as bad, that's as bad as it's been. It was just a few drops in the window, but now it's getting bad. And we have unloaded that pass. We still have nine and a half rounds to go out there. But this window has got rain on it, and it's supposed to start raining at six, so I think that means it's going to get harder. So we're going to go dump that uh, cart into, I don't, I think he's going to put it in a wagon. I don't think he's actually going to put that cart in a bin because I think the bin is full, but we're going to head to the house and maybe if it passes, we'll come back out. Maybe we'll just call it a night. Go play Minecraft. What do you think? Can I see what's in that bin? Which bin? You talking about that wagon? Yeah. There's nothing in that wagon. It's empty. Turn it off, Avery? I think we'll leave it on. Chris said it cools better when you leave it on. So we'll leave it on and maybe we'll put it away. The squeaky wheel. The squeaky wheel doesn't get the grease in this case. 